Hey there guys, welcome to Dirt Road Believer. I'm Tina and I'm so glad that you're here with me on this Thursday. Uh, we're coming up on the weekend, so I hope you have some fun plans. We are continuing in the month of August with our 101 devotions, going back to the basics of our faith, putting it in a language that anyone can understand. So this is a wonderful um, devotion series for anyone. It, you can be a believer, you can be um, on the fence, you can be a non-believer this is getting us back to the very basics um, of the Christian faith so um, with that said we have a short video today um, the Lee family is getting back into football season we get so excited this time of year our son Crawford is now a junior and he had his first scrimmage this past Friday night so I'm going to show you some um, some footage from that and then I'll meet you back here for today's devotion we're getting into angels 101 man angels are, are such an exciting part of the faith and I don't know how much thought you give to angels and what part they play in um, in your Christian walk but today you're gonna discover that they play a very large role last Tuesday we talked about the Trinity um, our devotion was Trinity 101 and I alluded to the fact that um, angels are a part of the team too as well as the Trinity so we're gonna get into that more today it's a very interesting topic and um, one that we're gonna kind of boil back down to um, to just a foundational level so uh, join me back right here for today's devotion and enjoy this short video see ya did you get one or two you know he got two Wait, 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 wait. Uh, can you give me a Gatorade from the concession stand? I'll get it for you. Sure. Blue. Don't. Don't. Y'all look so okay, official okay, down here. Y'all need wait. matching shirts or something. Yeah, How did no. he get y'all in trouble? No, 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 we got each other in trouble. Too. Like, we, it's our first time. We had no idea what to do. Yeah, I didn't get clear orders what to do. But next time. Next time you'll know. Next time you'll know. Uh oh, 
that I love getting into um, and it is the topic of angels and maybe you haven't taken much time to think about angels but I think once that you do you may find that you have encountered angels maybe even on a daily basis so um, angels 101 again we talked Tuesday about this team that we have that is designed specifically for us as believers and they are pushing us along in the faith and rooting us on and we can actually employ them um, each and every day as we live out the faith so um, you'll see that our team is much bigger than just the Trinity it includes angels and in um, Hebrews 12 22 this is translated many ways it says that there are countless thousands myriads innumerable thousands upon thousands of angels and they exist for one purpose and that is to minister to believers so we find that in Hebrews uh, 1 14 so let's read that Hebrews 1 14 says are they not all ministering spirits sent out to serve those who are going to inherit salvation so those that inherit salvation um, and it even says going to inherit salvation um, angels are ministering spirits um, who serve and who are they serving they serve God um, and they are going it says they are going out um, they are sent out so we we um, understand there that angels report back to God and they are then sent out to minister to us and guys that um that is such an inspiring thing to know that we have countless thousands of angels working to minister to us and they minister in many different ways so we'll see that in just a minute but we find that in scripture they deliver messages um they give emotional physical strength you may remember Elijah who um, was served a meal by an angel and then had physical strength to not eat for the next 40 days and who just ran, ran, ran um, without stopping. And we know that we are led and guided by the Holy Spirit. That's not true um, of angels. Let's, let's read 1 Peter 1, chap, uh, 1 verse 12. It says, It was revealed to them that they were not serving themselves but you, 
These things have now been announced to you through those who preach the gospel to you by the Holy Spirit sent from heaven. Angels long to catch a glimpse of these things. Um, so angels are not humans. Um, they're not you know people that have gone to heaven and come back as we like to think angels are spirits that live in heaven um they are not guided by the holy spirit they are directed by god um but they long to catch a glimpse into how humans operate and that we are led and guided by the holy spirit like first peter 12 says there are different types of angels although we're not going to go into that very deeply um there there are angels who appear in human form as we'll see there are also angels who appear um, in an angelic form and can be quite intimidating we see that when um angel the angel appears to mary and tells her that she is going to have jesus angels also appear um in dreams they appeared the angel appeared to joseph in a dream instead of appearing the way he did to Mary and um, throughout the Bible we see that angels appear in different forms and why is that let's go back to uh, that verse we read in Hebrews angels are ministering spirits to the they are to minister to us so God is very specific in telling them which way to minister to us and which way they should appear you know I may respond to an angel in a dream better than I would I may not be ready to handle what Mary saw an actual uh, angel in its angelic form in front of us so they are very specific to who we are and how we would receive um, the message that they are coming to to bring us I know sometimes we loosely call people angels, like if someone is just really good or does really good things, oh, they're just an angel. And that is a little um, loose, but here's how you know if you've seen an actual angel appear in human form. Um, let's take a look at a couple of scriptures. The first one is um, in Judges, and this is when an angel came in human form to Samson's mother to tell her that she was going to give birth. That's a popular message by the way um, throughout scripture. Angels coming to tell women who don't think they can have a baby they're going to have a baby. We see that a lot. Um, so here this angel has come and left and Samson's mother goes and tells her husband about it and her husband is like well I want to who is this guy I want to see him so she asks will you reappear and the angel does reappear and um, comes to to meet with the wife and the husband and the husband we find this in Judges 13 the husband in verse 15 is like oh stay let me prepare a meal for you and the angel of the Lord said to him if I stay I won't eat your food but if you want to prepare a burnt offering um, you can offer it to the Lord so we see that angels do not eat food okay so if if you think somebody's an angel have they have you seen them eat <laughs> and secondly um, in verse 17 Samson's father says what is your name because I want to honor you when your words come true and the angel says why do you ask my name since it is beyond your understanding so angels do have names but they are far beyond our understanding and when we go to um, I believe this is Genesis where Jacob wrestles with an angel um, he does the same thing he wants to know he wants to know what's what's your name Jacob um, Jacob asks please please tell me your name but the angel answers why do you ask my name and he blessed him there so angels are not we're not going to know their name they're not going to make up a um you know an american name if they run into us so i think this is so interesting angels don't eat angels don't have names but not not that we would ever understand and um angels can appear in many different forms now my experience with an angel i did not see the angel but i know the angel was there this was when i was in college and i was driving back um i had about a four and a half hour drive from my home back to college and it was 
probably a Sunday and I was driving back broad daylight and I fell sound asleep driving on the interstate I-75 North um, and I just I don't know how long I was asleep you know how when you travel on the interstate you can look around and you kind of travel with the same pack of cars for a long time well when I woke up I remembered what cars were around me when I fell asleep but none of those cars were there I didn't recognize any of the vehicles around me and so I don't know how long I was asleep but I know that I know that I know that an angel was ministering to me and protecting me while I was asleep and driving that car for me because I was still right between the lines right where my car should have been to keep me out of harm's way and you know this is what God does for us at, I mean just at the slightest whim angels respond on his behalf to protect us to bring us messages to minister to us in so so many different ways and I'm so grateful for that because we all have um, legions upon legions of angels doing that for us every day though we may not see it and this is just it's a beautiful angels are such a beautiful example of what a personal God we serve because he sends the angel to help us at just the right time he sends them in the form that we can accept and respond to he sends them with the right message and um, it's just it's just really like the coolest thing and and I mean you can go really theologically in depth with the study of angels as I said one oh one <laughs> but let's look at one other thing something that actually we do have in common with angels we know um, a very famous fallen angel named Satan and he also has a lot of angels who followed him legions upon legions um, that we now call demons um, so this shows that though God never created it that way angels do have free will and um, they can serve God or they can choose not to serve God but then they are distanced from the Lord and they are separated and the same is true with us we can follow the Lord and have fellowship and communion and a closeness in relationship or we can deny him and follow the world um, which Satan is the little G-O-D, God of this earth, and um, we don't experience fellowship or communion. And um, so, though angels have fallen, though Satan is a fallen angel and all the demon, all his demons, they cannot erase the word of the Lord. They may have erased, um, they may have done damage to how close they can get to God. They still know the word of the Lord and they still take orders from the word of the Lord. And I'm going to illustrate that in Matthew 4. This is in part of verse 6. This is where um, the temptation of Jesus in the desert for 40 days and 40 nights. And we know that there are three temptations that Satan um, Satan gave him and so Satan says if you're the son of God throw yourself down for it is written he will give his angels orders concerning you and they will support you with their hands so that you will not strike your foot against a stone this passage right here coming from a formal angel of heaven he knew this, I mean, Satan knows this word. That's why he's so good at using it against us. And that's exactly what he was trying to do here with Jesus is use God's words, twist them, put them in a little bit different context and use them against Jesus. Of course, Jesus comes back with, um, it's also written, do not test the Lord your God. Don't go do something intentionally foolish and harmful to yourself thinking, oh, God will save me. I mean, we have a responsibility too, right? But listen to this, and, and just think of this coming from the mouth of an angel, because it's coming from the mouth of a former angel. He will give his angels orders concerning you, and they will support you with their hands, so that you will not strike your foot against a stone. Guys, we have more to be thankful for than we know we have to be thankful for there are so many times that we could have been hurt that we could have been cast down that we could have been rejected that we could have been all kinds of things 
that God saved us from and we, we're not even aware of it and I always take myself back to um, that car ride where I was sound asleep and could have never woken up on this earth and God gave his angels orders to support me with their hands so that I did not meet my death that day and that happens every day in the smallest of ways and so guys I want you to leave this devotion rejoicing because part of your team it is Father, it is Son, it is Holy Spirit, and it is legions upon legions, it's countless thousands of angels that are on your team, on your spiritual team, working on your behalf to ensure that you have everything in place to carry this Christian faith out on earth. That is so exciting, <laughs> and I have been excited to share this with you today. So guys, I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful weekend. Um, be thankful for all those angels that are supporting you today. And hey, until next week, slow down, take the dirt road, believer.